Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I did like all those videos in January and then I totally just like fell off the video horse, I guess. Um, you know, I, I don't even know what to say. I've been busy. There's a lot going on. Um, so with that being said, I am going to try to do my monthly stack in the shelves and my best books of the month. So right now I'm doing a best books of January video for you guys. And this will be, I think, relatively short. Um, it was, January was an interesting month. There's like a lot of retro urban fantasy authors, I would say, that I was reading, which was really wonderful. Um, it was a very heavy Kate Daniels month for me, which I enjoyed because I think that is an absolutely wonderful urban fantasy author team, husband, wife team. And the first book that I read that I really loved in January was Magic Tides by Kate Daniels. And this is the first book in the Wilmington years. So this is a series that takes place after all the events that happened in the Kate Dar Daniels series in Atlanta. And we move on to they're trying to make a living in the suburbs with their son. Um, and it was incredibly entertaining and incredibly fun to revisit that family again. Um, I'm going to try to adjust this a little bit because I'm getting a lot of glare in my glasses. All right. The next book I read was an Arcade Daniels book, and I really, really loved it. And that was Sweep of the Heart, um, Innkeeper Book 6. This was just such a fun book. Of course, it takes place in the end of Gertrude Hunt, which um, is just a lot of fun. I love this series. I think it's so much fun. And this was a kind of reality, um, inter, how would you explain? Intergalactic reality dating show bachelor thing. There's a prince of the big conglomeration that needs to find a wife and they have all these different races of aliens come in to try to do that and it was insane and so much fun just just so much fun i love the different alien races i love gertrude hunt the inn i love the characters it was just a ton of fun to read um then we get into another urban fantasy author that has always been one of my favorites but hasn't been writing a lot of full-length books recently and that is the book Sister Maiden a Monster by Lucy Snyder. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think this released in February. If not, it's coming out in March. Uh, well, it will release in February, I believe. Um, yeah, Lucy Snyder, I always just absolutely love. She wrote the Jessie, Jessie Shimmer Urban Fantasy series. And she is just not afraid to dig into that weirdness and gore and just like jump in. Um, Sister Mania Monster was no exception to that. It's set in a world that's not exactly, I wouldn't say post-apocalyptic, I say it's like starting to go through an apocalypse. There's been a very, very bad virus that's, um, have, making different things happen to people. Um, some people crave different types of food, I will say, after they've had this virus. And the whole thing gets very weird, um, very like cosmic, horror <laughs> and she does not uh, shy away from the descriptions and the weirdness and the goriness, um, but I thought it was fantastic. I really enjoy things that are just completely weird and out there and unpredictable, and this was that to a T. It was fantastic. I loved it, and for those who <laughs> read it and are like, oh my god, she loved this book. She must be demented. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I just thought it was really unique and really well done. Um, the last book I have on my list is a graphic novel, uh, and that is Spinning by Tilly Walden. Um, I really liked Tilly Walden's On a Sunbeam. I think I actually have it right. It's back there on my bookshelf, right on top of all the uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I don't keep all my books by any means, but that is one that I really love. So I've been trying to read Tilly Walden's other graphic novels. And Spinning is a memoir done by her. Um, she started out as a ice a figure skater uh, at a really young age. And as she got into her teen years, she realized that she was both gay and that she just didn't like the pressure of the ice skating and the whole community. And so um, you know, it's basically about her kind of coming of age, finding out these things, and then making a life for herself that was something that she wanted, but different from what everybody thought she should be doing, which which is difficult, right? So um, everybody thought she should continue to go and be this wonderful figure skater, 
she didn't want to. She wanted to be a graphic novel designer. She wanted to be an artist and tell stories. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. I thought it was superbly done. I just really like, I like how Tilly Walden makes everything. Like her characters are so real. The illustration's well done. It's easy to follow. I just, the stories are just so engrossing. So I really enjoyed that. So four books in January that I gave five two stars to that I really enjoyed. Again, a little bit of a retro open fantasy um, vibe to my favorites with two Alona Andrews books and one Lucy Schneider book, but then also a graphic novel in there. Um, yeah, I've, I've been busy. I don't really know what to say for myself except for, you know, last year I took the patent bar exam and I was trying to get into that uh, because of that and because of COVID. Um, I had been pretty into like weightlifting and, and doing a lot of like boxing and stuff like that. And I kind of dropped some of that. So I know this is pretty typical <laughs> for January, but I actually started doing a lot of this in November after I passed the patent bar. But I've been just doing a lot of work on working out on getting my body back to where I want it to be strength wise and flexibility, endurance wise and all that. So I've been doing a lot of weightlifting. I've been doing a lot of um, VR boxing. I do love my supernatural boxing and Beat Saber and stuff like that. Uh, it's been nice enough that we finally be able to go outside and walk again, which I love being outside and going on my daily. We do like a daily three and a half mile walk, me and my husband. Um, but it, it was so cold and then so snowy and icy that we just haven't been doing it. But this last week, it's been in the mid 30s and 40s. And I have to be asked, it feels like tropical outside. It's so amazing out. So we've been doing that. And um, I've also been trying to modify my diet a little bit for the weightlifting um, in order to just get quicker muscle recovery. And that just means I'm increasing my protein intake and kind of decreasing my fat and carb intake a little bit. So really watching my macro macronutrients and top, you know, keeping track of all that. So all that takes time and I've been working on that more. I have been reading a lot, which is nice. It was just really nice in like December, January to get into just reading a lot again because I love reading. But last year I spent a lot of time reading while studying for the patent bar and I was just getting a little burnt out. On reading. So um, that's kind of what I've been spending a lot of my time with. Uh, my son is a sophomore this year. He's actually taking his driving test as I'm recording this. Fingers crossed. Um, it was requested I stay home because I get a little stressed out about these things. So I am staying home waiting for the results. He should be taking it in about 30 minutes. They had to drive kind of out like a well, hour away from our house for us to get a time. It's been super backed up. I booked his driving test like five months ago and we still had to go kind of out a bit to get a time. So I'm hoping he does that. And with all of that is other fun stuff. Like he's taking AP classes. So we're trying to get him prepped for those tests um, and make sure all his paperwork is done for that. He's starting to look at colleges. So he's been bringing home a lot of brochures from colleges and we've been talking with him a lot about cost and where he wants to go and what he wants to do. Um, so I just kind of busy and honestly, I, it's like the realization that he is going to be spending less and less time here at home with us is, is definitely hitting home. And so I've been trying to just kind of focus on spending time with him when I can. Uh, so my son is a, a very wonderful kid. He's very funny. He's hilarious. He's very capable and I've really been enjoying him enjoying watching him getting into all this stuff, but at the same time, it just kind of brings home the fact that, like, he is going to be, you know, not gone, but, like, less in our lives. Like, our, I don't even know how to explain it, but our lives have been structured around, like, hockey practices, karate practices, swimming, all these things that we've been doing with him. Like, he started playing hockey when he was three or four, and he's still playing it, but it's just getting him to practices, hanging out at practices, going to tournaments, all of this stuff. And once he can drive himself there, like, of course, we'll try and go, we'll go support him for games and all that. But um, it's going to be a lot more free time. We're going to have to, like, recalibrate. So, and I know everybody who has teenagers goes through this kind of thing. I mean, even him talking about jobs, like, he's trying to figure out if he wants to be a hockey referee over the summer or if he wants to work at the summer camp or, I mean, he's got a lot of options and he's trying to figure it all out. So... Um, that being said, uh, we've been busy and so not many videos. It just hasn't been something I'm super excited about doing right now, but I will try to get a couple a month 
up um, and of course I am still reading a lot and doing book reviews so if you are interested in book reviews my blog address is always listed below and you can come check that out because I post on there quite a bit I also post on Goodreads so you know if you go on my blog and you'd rather just follow a Goodreads I kind of post both places um, that being said I think that's enough uh, I hope that you got a lot of great books that you read in January and uh, if you're willing to share those I would love to hear about them and I will talk to you guys probably next week for Stacking the Shelves. I think I'm going to post this one um, on the 11th, what is this, sorry, 11th, and then I'll post the Stacking the Shelves one the week after. So, um, all right, have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.